I'm so excited to be in the kitchen today and I've got Karen from Asian Inspirations showing us something that we haven't cooked in here before. Mm -hmm. What have you got for us today, Karen? Well, we're doing a, a, a twist on the your, you know, your Balinese street food, which is um, barbecue guling, which is a barbecue piece of pork um, with a dipping sauce. But we thought we'd do something different for the vegan community ah. and, and convert this to a vegan dish. So excellent! You can see there's no pork on the table. It's just vegetables and lots of flavour. Let's get the marinade going. So in this bowl, mm -hmm. if I could ask you to grab some of the ingredients. Yeah. So the ketchup money goes first because that's the main ingredient. Excellent. And let's I'll put let you in... tell me how much. Well, quite a lot actually because we want the stickiness of the sweetness of this a sauce and this sauce is made of reduced palm sugar so uh -huh. it's really it's got the treacle flavor it's got the flavor of um, light golden syrup but deeper and it's got the color which will give you a really nice golden brown when you grill or cook with it excellent mm. so it's a, a caramelization starter yes all the flavor all the flavor and then to balance the sweetness soy sauce please excellent so, so we're putting in about maybe one tablespoon if you love salty food like I do put the whole <laughs> lot in so two tablespoons Spoons. Excellent. So let's put in maybe one teaspoon of sugar. Okay. So with Southeast Asian cooking, over the Asian cooking, it's all about balance of flavors. So Absolutely. we've got the salty, we've got the sweet, and now we've got the sourness. Excellent. I love sour. Yeah. And and what we would typically do is, you know, put lemon or limes, but we're using another ingredient which is tamarind paste. Excellent. It's one of my favorite actually because I think it's it's sour with having another few extra layers yeah, of depth. Yeah, it's got a smokiness oh. to it. And the last ingredient to add a different flavor to the marinade is garlic powder. I'm just going to mix all of those lumps so, out for you. It's so pedantic. No, I think we can leave it. Oh, it's okay. Yeah, because when we <laughs> grill it, when the vegetables go in, the water comes out. Okay. Okay. And it will. We're going to use eggplant. So if we had a, a narrower one, you could do discs. Yes, we but could. But because we've got a big fatty here. A big fatty. We're going to quarter it for you. Or if you want to make it a beautiful thing, you could cut it in this and then use your cookie cutter to cut it out. Ah. But we won't do that today. If we were going to be doing a, a curry or a side that we could utilise the, the excess yes. bits, that sounds like actually a really lovely idea. Maybe star-shaped skewers. <laughs> <laughs> so I've got a zucchini here and I'm going to do the same thing which is a one and a half centimetre. One and a half, I was just about to check. Yeah. So we're choosing vegetables that can take a lot of flavour today. But as you said, you could do this any time of year mm. and utilise whatever's in season. That's correct. And then we um, let it sit in the marinade for about an hour. Don't want any boring bits? No boring bits, <laughs> yeah. So marinade for at least an hour, could you leave it longer than we that? We can leave it or? overnight. Um, and if you leave it overnight, you, you might see, uh, you might find that a lot of the water has been drawn out from the vegetables and that's okay. All right, All so right. into the so fridge. Into the fridge. Please. And then we'll come back and cook it. Thank you. So while we've got our vegetables marinating in the fridge, mm -hmm. what's next? Uh, the dipping sauce. Okay. So every skewer has to have some dipping sauce, every recipe for skewering. So we're going to do the dipping sauce today. I'm going to get you to help me crush some sesame. And these have been... Roasted. Uh-huh. Um, just a dry roast for, you know, until it gets golden brown. Or just pop one in the mouth and taste it as ready roasted. So you, you imagine you're making a tahini and that's what you want to achieve. And while you're grinding that, I'm going to throw in the peanuts. So Thank peanuts, you, again, gives the flavour and that a thickener uh, it serves as a thickener for the sauce. I love that it also helps more sauce, more sauce stick <laughs> to your skewer. And, and who needs the gym when you're doing things like that? <laughs> so we can, uh, maybe we'll add the, the sweet soy in. So you'll see, I'm going to add in about five tablespoons in. And the chilli sauce, just to give a bit of kick. Okay. We could, we could um, mince um, chilies, but quite often with winter, I find that chilies are so expensive. So this is what I'm going to use. Hopefully, oh yeah. It's always the <laughs> problem, the challenge you have with a new bottle of sauce. So I'm going to put in about, hopefully I get in, a tablespoon in there. And uh -huh. this might sound quite a lot, but I like it spicy. I'm going to give it a bit of stir and see and check for consistency. And you see, when we add the juice of the lime, again, it'll, run, it'll mm -hmm. get runny. So let's get on with the rest of the ingredients. So if I get you to so juice said this, lime. and I'll dice these shallots. A whole lime or half? Um, let's go with half first. And, and I'll can pass taste. you that Thank for you. the shallot. So a nice mix of toasty, roasty flavours and fresh, vibrant, zesty flavours. Exactly. I like it. Yeah, I like it too. Again, it's that balance. 
Would you mind helping stir while yep. I put these shallots in? Okay, we're gonna dump this egg. Actually, if you like, uh, we can um, get great some of the, the rind in there. Yeah, yeah, that can change the flavor and smells in here. I'm just gonna get rid of this onion. Smell that. It's so amazing. good. <laughs> and we forget a pinch of salt, please. Yes. So that's nearly done. I actually like the fact that it coats the back of the spoon. Excellent. So that's a great indicator for people at home. Yes. So we've got all of our veggies skewered. Mm -hmm. I've waited for my lunch long enough, Karen. <laughs> Okay, let's get grilling. <laughs> okay, you would, you could do this um, outside in a barbecue, mm -hmm. um, and or and but what we've got here is a griddle. A um, little bit of peanut oil there for you, just in case. Just in case, because not everyone has got a non-stick pan, and this is a nice and hot pan. In it goes, not too much oil. And then we're gonna hold our breaths as we put in the first <laughs> skewer. Oh yeah, I love the sizzle. We look too. So <laughs> that goes in. We'll take the ones with the zucchini. Just looks nice. So and sort then, of about two minutes per side? Yeah, or? two minutes per side. But you know what? Not... I don't know. I just use a, a, a fork to poke it through. Okay. Just in case. Because I hate um, raw eggplant. Okay, so you don't want it to have any yield, no resistance. So putting it in nice and smoothly, but not yet collapsing. Yeah, not yet collapsing. Okay. Yes, yes. Excellent. Very tricky. Very tricky. Precision grilling, I call it. <laughs> <laughs> and I love using the, the marinade to baste it. It's just all of those layers of flavour increasing, increasing. Yeah. Oh, I love the sound of the sizzle. <laughs> it never happens at home, it just stinks up the, the kitchen. It's such a satisfying sound. It does, <laughs> yes. isn't it? How are those? Do we need to turn those I think yet? we're going to turn it and we've got this. Let's check. Oh, Elena, look at that. Oh, yeah. We love it. Beautiful oh, grill yeah. <laughs> Looking good. <laughs> okay, and we'll baste it again. And the thing about cooking with uh, vegetables is there's no worry about contaminating with bacteria. Ah, of course. You know, so we can just dip into the, the, the marinade and still go onto the cooked side of the vegetables and still be... You know, safe to Wonderful. eat. Wonderful. Yeah. Okay, looks like it's ready. So we're ready to Very plate it. Very excited. Let me just check. Yeah, looking good. So nice, even caramelization on all sides. Yep, you can see that. And little resistance from our vegetables, so we know that they're cooked through. Mm -hmm. I'm surprised at my tongue skills. I never <laughs> get to grab these tongs properly. <laughs> oh, there you go. I'll give you your sauce and you can. Oh, and we can taste. Thank you so much for being here today, oh, Karen, and showing me this beautiful dish. I can't wait to get stuck into it. Well, this is the Indonesian um, vegetarian skewers with the dipping sauce using really, you know, really fresh ingredients and just a different way of thickening your sauce. Definitely something that you guys should try at home. Beautiful. Thank you. <laughs>